everyone, welcome. My name is Monique if you're new here. For episode six, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on some pin curls on short hair. I have a very short bob cut and since Viva Las Vegas is coming up this weekend, um, I wanted to share with you a few of my techniques uh, that I use to create pin curls. I will list all the links below of the products that I used and don't forget to subscribe. Our supply list is a brush and comb, a dry shampoo, and a flexible hairspray. You can't forget your flat iron and bobby pins. Start out by combing out your hair and letting it fall to its natural part. And once that's done, go ahead and separate your hair from the back to the front. Uh, just pin it back so it's not in your way. We're going to pin curl the front that frames your face first. Hey. Taking your dry shampoo, go ahead and, and apply it to the root and just work it in. I like to tease it quite a bit since uh, you're going to be out all day. You want the pin curl to hold. So we're gonna do this inch by inch uh, to the whole front section of the hair. Apply your dry shampoo and tease. You can also do this with hairspray if you wish. So once the whole front is teased, take an inch at a time and we're gonna create our pin curls. Lightly brush the ends out. And with your flat iron, pull up and over to create that curl. Once it's curled, you can now manually roll, roll up the hair into a pin curl. And take your time and do this so that they come out looking fabulous. Since this is the front uh, of your hair, you want them to look very tight and neat. And once that's done, go ahead and pin it. And continue to do that to the whole front of your hair. So a flat iron up and over, curl in with your fingers and pin down with the bobby pin. So once the front is done, we're gonna spritz it with a ton of hairspray and begin doing the same steps to the back of your hair. Now since my hair is short, I can only go so far down in the back before it's uh, blended in. It's too short for me to pin curl. So I will be using a regular curling iron for the very bottom. Um, so what I've done is the same steps. I've teased it with my dry shampoo or hairspray and curled it with a flat iron and pinned it down with the bobby pin. Curl the shorter hairs with the curling iron and spritz, now we wait, let it set in. This is a good time to do your eye makeup, a little eyeliner and a mascara. With lots of practice, I use an angled eyeliner brush and I'll list the link below to the brand. But you can get these at any uh, drugstore or cosmetic counter. The eyeliner I'm using is by MAC Cosmetics and it's Fluid Line. The color is Black Track. For mascara, I use Physician Formulas Organic Wear in black. I always say an outfit is never complete without your bright red lip color. For this pinup look, Lady Danger by MAC Cosmetics is perfect. Here's my little secret, gals. When I'm not feeling so hot, I just throw on that bright red Lady Danger color and it always does the trick. Once that's done, let's carefully take out our pin curls. Try to keep the curl intact. And as we're unraveling the curl, make sure they're facing inwards so that they frame the face. Do the same to the other side, unravel the curl and frame the face. And lastly, the pin curls in the back. Go ahead and unravel, try to keep them intact, and then we'll go ahead and tease them and reposition them so you'll get a volumized bump. A few careful positioning of your curls. Try to keep all the curls going inward towards your face so that you get a nice framing. And that completes our pinup look. 
subscribe above and have fun at Viva.